The release of Apple's new products in September. iPhone's notch screen has become a pill-shaped cutout. With the blessing of Dynamic Island. I believe that everyone should be more insipid or insensitive after the surprise. If it weren't for its awesome system. How can we stand staring at pill-shaped cutout every day? The notch screen that iPhone can get rid of. The punch screen that Android can give up. How far are we from a true full-screen mobile phone? In fact, Android has been trying to break through and improve. In this regard, the brand new lifting camera, the imaginative side rotating lifting camera, are all proofs of hard work. In this video, let's take a look at the Oppo Reno 10X Zoom version. A full-screen mobile phone. Realized by the side rotating lifting camera. This model, at the beginning of its release, was priced as high as 4,000 yuan, which is a high end flagship machine. At this price, then, the screen production factory should be easy to think of. The original screen of this model, Oppo placed the order to Samsung, which is an OLED full screen with 6.6 .6 inch full HD resolution slash cove scheme. So, how about the original screens on the market today? The model of 2019, as of now, has been discontinued for a long time. And the brand new original screen on the market, must be hard to find, almost none. The screens currently in circulation, are basically original refurbished screen and OEM screen. As we all know, the value preservation rate of Samsung screens is high. So the refurbished original screen of this model, will naturally be favored by more refurbished factories. If the screen cover plate has minor defects, it will be refurbished. If the screen has larger defects, it will be spliced and refurbished to an OEM screen. At present, the specific price on the market, according to the aging degree of screen defects, and the degree of refurbishment, is mostly in the range of 3xx4xx yuan. As a 2019 model, this price is still acceptable. Next, let's look at the OLED screen. The common OLED public molds on the market mainly have three sizes. Tianma 6.33 inch, Edo 6.36 inch, and Edo 6.39 inch. Since the sales volume of K3 is not that high, and the screen sales on the market is average, there are not many factories specializing in OLED screen, and no one will specially develop a separate OLED glass for this model. Therefore, it is the most priced performance to choose a glass that is suitable and available on the market to make this OLED screen. Among the existing OLED glasses, the most suitable one is Edo's 6.39 inch glass, which is a OLED full screen with 6.39 inch full HD resolution slash cove scheme, and it is currently about 2xx yuan on the market. Compared with other water drop style glasses, this Edo 6.39 inch glass is larger in size and has a full screen window, which is closer to the original screen. And visually, it is easier for people to accept and adapt to. Finally, Let's look at the incel screen. Like OLED screen, the most commonly used 6 inch panels on the market are 6.217 inch and 6.517 inch public mold glass. Compared with the original 6.6 .6 inch glass, in terms of size, the 6.517 inch glass, it is more suitable to make this model. Currently, there are two incel screens of this model. On the market, JDI and Sharp, which are 6.517 inch OLED full screen with full HD resolution slash COG scheme. Compared with the OLED screen, these two incel screens are closer to the original window in size, although the chin of the COG scheme will be larger. The large enough window size offsets this deficiency. In terms of display effect, both these two glasses are full HD resolution. Due to different debugging by different factories, there will be some subtle differences in the brightness or color rendering of the screen's display effect. At present, these two incel screens are about 1xx yuan, which are cheaper than OLED screens. As an Android model that has been on the market for more than three years, this incel screen is generally more price performance, whether from the perspective of repairers or from the perspective of customers. Based on the screen market this year, it is easy to find that incel screen market has almost always been in decline. At present, the upstream DFD LCD panel and IC are still in the stage of overcapacity. Supply exceeds demand, which has provided the necessary conditions for the continuous price decline. However, due to the recent rise in the exchange rate of the US dollar, the trend has pushed up the product cost. In this context, let's predict what's the market trend of in-sell screen at the end of the year. 
There are also some friends who are asking. Aren't BOE, TNMA, TCL and other LCD panel factories? All domestic companies? Why does the rise in the exchange rate of the US dollar lead to an increase in product costs? If you know, please share in the comment area. Follow Chino Tech. Within 3 minutes. Take you to get the latest screen market information.